YouTube, what is going on? My name is Red Tank Kevin, whatever you want to call me. And this right here is going to be a quick review of the Adobe Photoshop Touch application. Purchased this application a couple days ago um, once they made the changes that support the 7 inch uh, devices. And with this application, basically, it's, it's Photoshop portable. Um, you can just use your Photoshop on your device. Uh, you know just like you would on the desktop now it's not the full suite or anything like that but a lot of the filters and a lot of the adjustments you can make on the fly also paired with the Nexus media importer where you can import your videos and import your photos directly to your device from your camera I did a review a couple days ago about that I'll send you a link to that however using that coupled with this you can actually have a little portable uh, media station where you're taking photos and you want to make adjustments on the fly so let's get into it really quick I'm just gonna touch up on a couple features and show you how it works um, first thing we're gonna do we're gonna go to the very bottom here and we're gonna do add a photo and you can go local photos from Google from Facebook and, and all that fun junk so um, there's a there's a photo I have on my uh, card right here all right and add the photo and you can do multiple photos you can add uh, several photos at a time so picture of my uh, lovely girlfriend and uh, what we're gonna do we're gonna modify the picture a little bit um, add some adjustments and uh, you know clean it up a bit so um, the first thing I'm going to do uh, as I always do I go to the curves and make adjustments I like my photos and my women curvy all right so uh, we're gonna head over here down to uh, switch it looks like little toggles looks like little settings uh, I think it's just sliders head over down the curves and we're gonna make our adjustments and without going too much into it I always like to bring down the saturation level right here bring down the, the shadows a little bit and bump up this a bit so you get like a deeper color and, and a much brighter image as well so and you know do the same thing for the colors as well like red and you know we, you know, we, could, we could play around and modify it all day and, and tweak it till we actually like the way it looks but you know just just showing you guys high level how this application works All right, something like that, just to bring out some more color, bring in a little more green to, you know, to match the scenery in the background. So that's about it. Um, also, we can, you know, we can uh, we can stretch the image out, expand it, make it smaller, make it bigger. You know, just the normal things you can do with Photoshop. Uh, pinch to zoom does work. Um, you can pinch to zoom, pinch to drag. All these fun things, all these fun options right here that you can um, that you can play with. We have rotate, we have add text, add gradient, add a fade, warp, um, camera fill, which turns on your camera and you can uh, kind of add an image within an image, within an image, within a dream, within a Taco Bell sandwich. Um, we can crop, change the image size, rotate, you know, just the, just the normal things. It's not, it's not full on Photoshop, but it's a pretty, pretty darn good photo editor. And also there's different layers you can play around with um, and you guys should know what a layer is. So, um, you know, just, just overall is a lot of options you can do and I'm under effects there's several effects you can do you can do the goddess and blur I never know how to say that word but you can do the blur you can blur out the photo you know you can bring it back into focus I mean there's tons and tons of effects and I you know I'd be sitting here all day to show you everything but for ten dollars um, the application is totally worth it especially if you're if you're like me and you take photos on the fly and, and, you, and you go out and take pictures um, you know I, I totally recommend this application it's it, it does what it does um, you know, it, and it works very well. It works very fast on my uh, my Nexus 7 device. I also use it on my Motorola Zoom. Works just as well there too. Um, you have a lot of options, tons of options. You can save directly um, to the cloud, to uh, your Adobe Connect account. You can save to Facebook. You can save straight to your device. You can email out of here as well. Um, so, I mean, it's overall, it's, it's a clean application. I'm glad Adobe brought this application to this device. I know it's been on the iPad for a while. Um, I'm glad to see it on the Nexus platform because, um, you know, there's tons more you can do on here as far as the export features um, and saving directly to your device and, and emailing straight from the application. So really cool. Yeah, I recommend this application 100%. Haven't had any issues with it. Um, haven't had any crashes or any slowness or any bugs or anything like that. So um, recommend this application. Guys, go out and pick it up if this is what you're into. Um, there is no free trial, unfortunately. So hopefully I can um, provide some insight if you have any questions. Always, always, always like, subscribe, rate, and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, you can contact me on the G+. Um, also, if you want your applications um, reviewed or anything like that, please let me know and uh, we can work something out. All right, thanks. Have yourself a great night and uh, God bless. Thanks.